It doesn't. I'm going to be honest with you. It doesn't. Nor does it work with jokes, as you just found with my co-host. <laughs> I left you hanging earlier. You you left me hanging. We're even now. There we go. Diamond sports, spring sure. ball, whatever analogy, whatever phrase, nickname you want to use, it is here, folks. And as always the case, softball gets started just before baseball, which I kind of like, to be honest with you. I kind of like they're staggered. That way we don't have to have too much going on in that, that opening weekend for softball or that opening weekend for baseball. Yeah. So our focus for this week is this Auburn softball team led by Coach Mickey Dean, who's been here for quite a while now. And to be honest with you, I think a lot of – People are, are shocked in that sense, too, because there's been a few ups and downs. But sure. to me, he inherited quite a bit of a chore because this is a team that had a lot of success, had a little bit of controversy and scandal and trying to weather, know, the, storm a little bit. Yeah. weather the storm. And then COVID happened yep. and <laughs> you shouldn't make certain decisions during oh. COVID oh. because... Oh. Things happen and you get oh. places in a program oh. that you shouldn't be. Anyway, oh. that decision wasn't made with this program and now they're still competitive. I'm going to leave it there. Um, <laughs> Auburn softball 2024. We can handle this preview whatever way you want, Austin. Uh, but just maybe opening thoughts from you about what you're feeling, what you're thinking about for this upcoming softball season. There's a lot to like about this team. There's a lot of questions, I think, that are fair. Uh, this team lost um, Bree Ellis, as we well know. Yep. Um, she is at Arkansas now, a team we will face. Uh, this team hurt. has Maddie Pinta back. The, I- the, the Phenom. The Phenom. Yes. Okay, yes. you scared me just for a second because you didn't say anything. And I was like, I, no, I, I was, researched, I was la- but I'm pretty Listen, sure. When Maddie Pinta's name get said you just leave it like the <laughs> open air because it's enough. maddie pinta i'm maddie pinta right i mean like come on so you, know? you have to feel good about that no matter what uh softball is all about if you got a stud and you got an ace you're gonna be okay um it, no matter how how where else your question marks are mm-hmm. so they've got maddie pinta and then you know it's been an infusion of talent from Mickey Dean and getting who he wants in the program. There's been, it was a really good freshman recruiting class. Yep. Um, and this team has pieces that it looks like Mickey Dean has wanted. And I think we're going to, we're going to hopefully see it all put together. Um, there's a, it's a really good schedule. You got a really good, a, a lot of bunch of home games that are favorable. Yep. And then Kyle, I didn't even realize this. I don't know how it, I missed this until, you know, this, uh, researching it, but this is the year Auburn hosts the SEC tournament. And that's super exciting. Not, I mean, uh, yes, we want Auburn to be competitive. It'd be right. absolutely awesome if they are competitive. Uh, and it's, you know, here on the plains, but also that is just a super fun thing to have close to you. I think the past few years when the SEC softball tournaments come around, I've been like, when is it going to be our turn? Because that looks awesome to be a part of. Yeah. And it is this year. So you have that to look forward to. That should be extra motivation for this team. Uh, Kyle, really the only thing, I just don't want to play Clemson in a regional. I I, I think that is a low bar, yeah. but that is the bar I'm at. Because we have talked about that the last two years. And I do not want to play or go to Clemson for a regional. Well, Austin, I'm afraid to tell you, sir. No, no. Yes, Austin, I'm so sorry to report to you that we will play number seven Clemson on Saturday, February 17th. Well, that's fine. That, okay, just I don't want sure. to go there for a regional. Okay. As long as we don't go there, as long as we're not seeing them in the postseason. They can I, come I, here. I, okay. I would prefer they not because we don't need to well, play those, those backwards cousins from Clemson every single in every single sport every year. But yeah. I would prefer not to go to Clemson and drive over that lake just to play a softball game in a regional again. Yeah, it'd be nice. Look, um this is going to be a fun year I think for a variety of reasons. Yes, you have as is typical, um, Auburn hosts a lot of um early season tournaments, especially with a lot of, you know, smaller teams, but then some some good competition too. They're going to Mexico to play in a little bit of round robin there you go. style thing. So, you know, Bruce Pearl was a world tour with his basketball team in recent years and so has other teams as well, but we're going to Mexico uh with the softball team this year. You know, in Keeping with what you just brought about the SEC softball tournament coming, 
you've seen a lot of investments into the program. Um, they did a lot of work that was, I think was missed about, I know this sounds gross, but it's the reality of drainage and stuff for the softball field that really needed some like infrastructure improvements. And they've done those in the last several right. years. They just got a new locker room and kind of team facility that can join there with the gymnastics team at the McWhorter Center. I think I've got that right, the, the name of it. Yep. And uh, so there's been a lot of investments in the program. And so now is the time if you're going to host an event like that, which, folks, it's going to be a lot of people here. I hope you know. Tons. We have a great facility, but I don't know that you're prepared for the level of excitement and energy that's going to be there for softball. So I, I definitely will try my best to be there that weekend and kind of take in the atmosphere at least for a day. And I would recommend that you all do so as well. But in terms of a, a schedule preview or something like that, not going to go through every single game here, but several, I think three, maybe four, three uh, at home tournaments to start off the season. And then you will get into your traditional and it's not the same every single week, but the typical sec uh, three game series on the weekend and then a midweek matchup most of the time with a regional team like your UABs, your Troys, things like that. But let me just throw out some teams that we're going to see the note Clemson, number seven Clemson right now. Uh, no, Virginia Tech, very mm -hmm. first game of the year with the opening day. Virginia Aren't Tech they becoming a common opponent with Auburn. No, I, I mean, know. it's only one other time, but <laughs> I mean. Hey, if you are talking about common opponents with Auburn, here you go again. Northwestern, number 25. Yeah. Oh. Coming. Yes, I know. I know. Uh, so those are probably your big names in non-conference play. Those are your ranked ones right now. But you have got, let's talk about the ones at home, big matchups. You got Arkansas, Bree Huge. Ellis coming mm. back to Auburn. How, how are we feeling about Bree Ellis? Because she was quite a character when she was here. And I'm a she little is, hurt. I'm going to be honest. It, uh, it, it stinks and it stings a little bit. I think that she is going to be trying to launch some Bree bombs uh, when she comes back. And, you know, I hope that it's not too bad, too poorly of a reception for her. Uh, but hey, she is on the other side and she's an SEC foe now. So uh, that'll be a big motivation game, I'm sure, for everybody involved. It's kind of like with Alan Flanagan, you know, I, I want there to be a certain level of respect, but unfortunately when, when you, when the game starts, it's all over, you know, I mean, come on, we don't That's wish, right. Ill, we don't wish true ill will on you, but we no. wish ill will in terms of like that you strike out, strike out. every single yeah. bat, you know, that you, you know, maybe miss a bag when you're running or something like that. Yeah. You know, those, those type of things, no injuries, none of that, all good natured stuff here. That's one to definitely keep on your radar, uh, at home versus number two currently Tennessee. Oh, That's yeah. going to be a humongous matchup. You got Texas A&M who's currently ranked 24th. Yeah, you know, look, you're just going to hear this a lot. SEC teams being ranked 15th for LSU, Alabama to end the season at Love that. home. At Love home that. folks. And then remember, the week after that, SEC tournament. So basically, let me make sure I have the dates. The 2nd of May through the 4th is Alabama. You take a few days off, and then everybody's coming back to town that's you know going to be in the tournament and being here. Probably will be Alabama, too, because they're usually pretty good. It's just going to be a fun-filled season. Even it without is. a superstar like Bree Ellis, others have opportunities to rise to the occasion. We still got Maddie Pinta. Hey, here's the funny thing, Austin. Have we ever, like, in an inter-squad meeting – heard about a matchup between maddie and brie like how that's gone before you know, i have they... i'm gonna put my money on, on maddie pinta oh always give i mean outside of maddie pinta being maddie pinta i'm giving my edge to the pitcher anyway right but maddie pinta should know her right, right. now granted you could say the other thing our exactly. way around brie right. brie should know maddie um but I, that that will be a matchup that all eyes will be on. And uh, I'm, I'm excited. I think we're going to see JMB Moorefield packed out a lot this season. There's, and and that team needs more, that. That's They deserve that. Would you say there's going to be more roar this this season? Something like that? Something? Is that, is that wasn't too bad. More roar? You know, JMB Moore, more roar? Mm. Mm. Mm, that was bad, wasn't it? Mm. I'm mm. going to pull the curtain back a little bit. I don't know bit. about that. Uh, I know. Look, so we a long time ago had a <laughs> softball show here at E2C Network. And, oh, yeah. you know, I, I miss having that to, to, to some extent because I remember us going through the naming process for it and we just couldn't really come up with anything. And I wanted to make more roar work, but it just more. It's like it doesn't roll off the tongue. You know, it doesn't. I'm going to be honest with you. It doesn't. Nor does it work with jokes, as you just found with my co-host. <laughs> I left you hanging earlier. 
you you left me hanging. We're even now. There we go. Okay. That's just how it's going to go. So softball season is here, folks. Obviously, we're going to be talking about them. We're going to be talking about baseball as we get further and further in the spring. Strap it up, boys and girls. Stickball, diamond sports. Stickball. That's what I was going for earlier. I like that. I like stickball. Uh, laces and whatever ball. We'll, we'll be talking all of that this uh, off season as we continue our coverage of that as well. 